Hello, everyone. I, I hope you can hear me. I'm getting better by the day. And today, oh my God, what just happened? What has been happening lately, right? Hello, what's the whole Bannon, the Bannon mess? What just happened? And the Mercers, did you see today that Rebecca Mercer issued uh, some sort of a rebuttal statement or something saying that they no longer support Bannon? Okay, sniff, sniff. So I got this shirt, by the way, look. I got this shirt at Uniqlo. I don't know if you're aware, you know this store, it's a Japanese store. I love the store. It's all very, uh, very uh, low priced items <clears throat> and it's t-shirts and, and, uh, and anyway, so sniff, sniff, Snoopy, haha. Sniff, sniff, so upset, right? He's so sad, oh my God. But isn't it interesting how I really, <clears throat> that was pretty unexpected of Bannon, of all people, right? He's the one who said all those things. I mean, if everybody has been saying about Trump that he, the whole thing is treason, and Bannon comes out and say it, and I don't know, let's say here, you know, why? why? But, but it's like, hello. It's amazing. I love it. I love the unraveling of all of this. Can you imagine being like Trump? The person who like has an excuse for everything and always blamed. It's incredible that he was able to get in his whole life. He was always able to blame somebody else. And now it's, it, it's so impossible. The whole thing Like, how can you get it? How can you have like such a face in Portuguese? There's an expression. We say cara de pau. It's a wooden face. Like, how can you say that with a straight face? It's like, Oh, it's him. It's you. It's that it's like, whatever. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And the whole, I don't even, I didn't want to go see the whole thing about this press conference and that woman. Oh my God, that woman. What is that woman? What is that? Sarah Huckabee Sanders. <laughs> what is her face? What is her? I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be like reading cards and I'm making faces, but she's like, <laughs> I'm sorry. What is her face? Like? <laughs> Christine, I've never said any of those things. You like I don't know. Anyway, I'm I'm noticing that I have too much I have too much uh, makeup. What is it called? The Kim Kardashian makeup contour. Contour. Anyway. <laughs> I, yes, the other day I did a video, I, I think I gained some weight, I noticed I have an extra chin, an extra chin, and I was like, you know, next thing I know, I have a, a four, three or four, like, Sarah Heckabee Sanders. Like, <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, I'm not here for, for this is, <laughs> I'm not here for this. It's not what this is about, I'm supposed to be serious and get some cards going here. So, oh my God, Steve Bannon, Steve Bannon, <laughs> what? And I think the question, let's see what's going on. Should I ask the question, why did he say those things or just general what's happening? Should we ask if he has done a deal with Mueller or if I think, okay, it's on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I think I'm thinking should it do to do, has he done a deal with Mueller or yeah, what's going on with Steve Bannon? What's the what happened that he cut his relationships with Trump and has he cut a deal with Mueller? What's what's the relationship deal with the writer? What do you mean deal with the writer of the book? Well, you know it's funny because I remember very well this guy. I remember this guy, um, Michael Wolf. He was a really disgusting. I watched an interview with him along right at the beginning of the Trump presidency, and he was gross. And maybe you know what? He was playing a game because he was like, President Trump, you know, it's the new the media needs to play the game, needs to be a bit of like he was, I guess he he could be saying what he the president wanted to hear, what Trump wanted to hear, but he sounded really gross. Maybe he it was he's just, you know what? Maybe he's like just like all of them. He's just false. And that's how he was able to get his book. Okay, so anyway, so let's let me see what's going on with Steve Bannon. 
what is up with Steve Bannon and the Mueller investigation? Just let's get a, you know, a, I think the more comprehensive understanding here of A, what's up with him, and then how how Mueller sees him. And sort of like how I was doing the very the earlier readings, I used to do pretty lengthy. Let me pull out enough cards because I feel like Bannon, I haven't done, did I do, have I done, a, I think I have done one on him, but it wasn't conclusive. So let's see what's going on with him. And then if the consequent legal consequences for him in the ball investigation, what's gonna happen, okay? Because pretty intense, pretty intense. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what's going on? What's going on, Ben? All right, so Ben is Steve, you know what's going on with him? All righty, okay. So let's get started. Something to, okay. Uh, let's see, center. Okay, so center. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so strange. Okay, so it's very strange here. I, I, I don't know what to say about this, but. Um, it's weird, let me show you the center, very odd because it's a very positive. I guess the question is what, you know, what's going on with him? And this is not yet about the legal consequences, but this is him, okay? so. It's, this is a man, this is a card of victory and success. So it's a, it's a card of a person parading in, 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 the mid, in the middle of the crowd, okay? A victorious person being recognized. This is a letter and the letter means commu written communications in general. And good, this is a card of good news, okay? Good news, some sort of news, legal, legal or government. So positive, legal news from the government, which sounds a little strange, okay, about Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon, the, the really uh, huh, weird, weird. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, all right. So that's that. And then at the beginning, so this is the center of, it's a five position. Well, it's a 10, 10 card or a 10 position reading, so five columns. And so that's his situation now, which is a little bit strange. Um, yeah, so here you, you have a, now this is interesting. So an ending here, he's making, he's starting to execute to look at what's next for him, okay? So an ending here. Yeah, and uh, also, if this is a card of like, he's, he didn't get what he wanted. This is a card of harvest. That's when you get money or get some sort of reward. But when it's like this, it means you didn't get quite what you wanted or you have yet to collect. And this is the house, so the White House. So he didn't get quite get what he wanted and ending to the White House and ending to the relationships in the White House, the beginning, okay? <clears throat> and here, this is probably him, okay? And, uh, because this is an intellectual sort of a, well, not him, like this, okay? This is the actually Mueller card. Legal, analytical, cold-minded, like this, manipulative. Manipulative social killer style. I don't think uh, he is as manipulative as, for example, Kushner or even Trump, but he is pretty, I mean, they're all kind of, the degrees of, 50 degrees of evil or whatever, right? But this is a manipulation and aggression. This is a card about aggression. So he's being aggressive and manipulative, okay? One second here, see. 
one source of light. No, it's too dark. Okay. Anyway, so <clears throat> so anyway, so that's uh that's him. Oh, it's too bright. This is hold on a sec. Yeah. So yeah, maybe better like this. So this is a manipulation and aggression. And the cra this is a the moon upside down means madness, like a crazy person, okay? And this is the dotard. So he's fighting the dotard. The moment he doesn't get what he, he feels like it, it's over for him in the White House and he didn't get what he felt was owed to him, then he gets, he starts fighting with the dotard. Okay, crazy man. And there he is like underneath, he's like being aggressive with the older man, with the crazy man dotard, all right? And right now, I feel like this, again, this goes to the center, which is like he's celebra celebrating, he got good news probably from the government, okay? So that's, yeah, and, and Diane, she's saying that he's a strategist who's trying to break up the GOP Star Zone Party. That's, prob that's possible, okay? That makes sense, okay? All right, so now in the near future and towards the end, this is a card of a person who can't sleep at night, very, very worried. And this is a card of power and also leadership and money, personal money. So it's possible that he's going to be very worried about money because the Mercers have cut off relationships with him just today, okay? This is a person who doesn't give up. It's like the person who goes all the way to the end. And I think it describes him well, right? He's the kind of guy who's like, he'll go all the way no matter what. Because Trump apparently, like, he, I think Bannon is kamikaze. He could really go all the way. So this is a net, a card of a network or of internet and groups of people. So, so I think he's worried. He has a network that he's going all the way to the end. And he's, it's a money related to the networks and power related to the network. So it makes sense that it could be about bright part, okay? And this is imbalance and a new beginning. Could be Trump, but I think it's a new beginning. He's an unstable child. Could be, actually could be Trump, or could be him. Okay, and on top of it, you have a tower, which is great for us. It's like everything falling apart and he has a secret. Now this is the book, it could actually be the book. Either he writes a book or it's the book that, the book about the child. So it's, it's possible that he, oh, you know what? This could be brilliant. Maybe what if he's writing a book? Maybe he is writing a book about the unstable and balanced child, okay? Because here you have um, like good news about public network, something network that has to do net network that could also be his own, net, his own network. And he could start a new network here, okay? And he could also, this could also be a contract that brings in money, okay, while he's having money problems through a book, a book that's going to bring everything crashing down, okay? Could, it's possible that he could write a book. So this is an option, okay? Now let's look at his legal situation in terms of the actual Mueller investigation, because I see here that once he didn't get, I feel like what it's showing here is that he didn't get what he wanted, what he felt he was owed, okay, for his work for Trump. So he wanted vintage, vengeance. Okay, so that makes sense. So, um, so then it's like he feels victorious. He feels like he really, and he has showed us all his power, right? Because it truly has power. I think it became very clear today that he he really um, created a new a new thing for him. Okay, so um, that he really showed us that he has power. So okay, Hmm. 
So I don't think. Yeah, I don't think though the things are going to end well for him either. Okay, I see him having the guilty card. I'll show you. So when I did this this structure of readings before, I'll show you the top. The top is how will um, how will he how will Mueller sort of frame him or see him? Okay, or use him in a way. Okay, so. So here we have ungainly or un, un, this is a card of victory, power of the will. This is, I feel like, victory in the wrong way and an expansion. So he contributed to this wrongful victory. He knows about money. So this is a queen of pentacles, I think, has to do with basically finances in general and looking into the money. and how these like offers came around that changed Trump's reputation. Okay, so he, this is what he knows. This is what he can offer Mueller, I think, okay. Now, this is the second part where I feel like how he defends himself or how not that he can get away with things, but sort of like how he can, if he's going to get a deal or not, or if he's going to, I don't see any cards related to a deal. I see the scythe, which is bad news. I feel like the empress sometimes refers to the US, okay? The country in a healthy, it's like the impo impoverished US. So he contributes to cutting the U.S. So we have to remember that even though today he's a hero, just for today, he has been a horrible person all along. And that he, he created these changes and long-term hardships, okay, so, which is the mountain. So basically cutting things down and creating hardships and being, an, oh wow, this is insignificant, okay. Being as a messenger, this is a card of a messenger to the foreign power, okay. So he's not a naive innocent or he, he is calling people treasonous, but he's not innocent himself, okay. So because this, this is very clear, messenger for the foreign power, okay. He brings about changes that cause hardship Okay, and he is cutting the abundance of America. So I don't see how it basically Mara's like, bitch, shut up, girl, bye. Okay, so it's like, he's like, no, mm -mm. you ain't fooling me. Okay, he's not, he's like, whatever. Mm -mm. Nope, we see it, we see through this. Okay, and I feel like I see, I have the Im image now of Mueller. Um, of Mueller um, kind of like watching it, like like watching dogs fighting or something, or like hungry dogs fighting dogs, fighting for the last scrap of meat. Like these people are so evil that they really have their techniques, but he's not, I feel like Mueller is almost like the God of like truth. He sees through everything. So no matter how they act, I feel like he can see it all. He knows the truth. So he's saying, you're the messenger of the foreign power. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, we know who you are. And he created these negative changes, basically, as a result of Paul or being a messenger. Like, he does whatever the Russia people say. And he cut the abundance of America. So, so that's bad enough, okay? And now, and the reason why I think things end sort of badly for him, I feel like in a way, this is a great card, right? That's the wheel of fortune upright. That means good things, things turn around for the better for you, okay? But you have here the fish. So the fish is a card of lots of money. So I feel like, although, and this last row is the row when I see basically um, what is the final story of Bannon. So the final story of Bannon really is the person who had luck, who had a good luck for a moment. He had a lot of money. He was very aggressive, okay? But he is also guilty. 
because he has the other cross. So he's a guilty guy, okay? At the, at the end of the day, he's guilty. And he, he is the, this is the emperor of upside down, so that's definitely Trump, okay? So he, he helped to bring on the false prophet, the false leader, which is Trump, and create his growth, okay? So he's part of the money chain and the aggressive command that created Trump and that allowed him to grow. Okay, so so that's really the verdict. And I really don't, because we have here, and I've said before that the Lenormand cards are the most important. And if I look at all of them here, there's a lot of negative cards for him. You have the scythe. Okay, I'm just gonna do this here. Yeah, the scythe and you have this one, guilt and cutting something. You have the mountain. It's like things look really bad for him, actually. I don't think because today he looks like a hero or he thought he was going to be a hero. But it's not enough, okay? Because <clears throat> it's like, and I, I look at the future column, if I could look at the, the, his reputation arrived through the influence of the foreign power. And that's what allowed him to grow, if I look at this this way, okay? And if we look into the finances, okay? And the changes that he caused to the country and the hardships that he brought to the country through a level of aggression, that makes him guilty, okay? And he expanded the cuts or like the sudden betrayals or sudden endings through money. So something about him, he must either have money or be part of the money chain or know a lot about the money um, connections, okay? So so that's that. I, I do think he gets... Is he gonna go? Let me just, just pull out so, this one more. Is he gonna go to jail? Yeah. Uh, is he going to jail? Is he going to jail? Uh, yeah. Pop. I, you know, it's hard to tell, but I think here you have the mice card, a card of corruption, delays. So there's some delays. Like he's corrupt at heart, and he is entangled somehow, and his corruption will lead him to maybe to this could be like he goes away meaning goes away for prison i don't know honestly it's hard to tell if he goes to prison or not but i think definitely he has there's problems coming for him he's guilty and nobody's basically nobody's fooled by his theater that he is like this nice guy who's telling everybody what the truth really is and he suddenly changed his his heart or something okay so <clears throat> So that's that. That's the core of the part about. Do you guys have more questions about Bannon specifically? Because I'm thinking, should we? I don't know if I should ask about his relationship to Mercer. Um, or I'm thinking now that we have the question also that I said I was going to talk about today, which is the question about the meeting of Rosenstein and uh, Nunes, not Nunes, um, Ryan. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think, is there, um, yeah, do the meeting. Okay. All right. So let's, okay, let's do the meeting. So, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so excited. Did you see Ro Rosenstein's face? He was, I'd never seen him so happy. He was beaming. He was so excited. He's like, yes. They're like, I told that bitch. Like what I, you know, can you imagine like telling him like, you know, you're right. I know you, I'm going down. Imagine like you're going, somebody telling him, like he's like, I told that bitch, you know, I'm telling him off. You know what? I know all your boy. You're going to jail. This is the, this is the indict, whatever, piece of paper. Because he doesn't even have to tell him anything. He's just like, here's the piece of paper. Bye. Okay, bye. Oh my God. I wish, you know what? I imagine myself writing, yeah, over the papers to Nunes. Are you serious? 
Oh my God, are you kidding? No, it can't, it can't be that they, because it was so dangerous. What, what Nunes wanted was the names of all these people. I don't believe, honestly, I don't believe it. Let's find out because I feel like he, Nunes wanted the names of the sources. He wanted like really difficult. No, it's like, no, it's like he wanted all these like really dangerous. Imagine giving out the names of the people who give the legit information. I don't think he, I think he, I, you know what I believe it was? Yes. It would be like, I think you would probably like, like a note. We, you know, we know what you're doing. Okay. We know what you're doing. And, and that's that. Like, they, I think they probably like made up some, some excuse about what happened because they can't really say. So I'm thinking, okay. <clears throat> Okay, I'm thinking what, okay, the question, simple question could start with, okay, so tell us about this meeting that happened between Rosenstein and, um, yeah, Rosenstein and, uh, yeah, no, I don't think, I don't, okay, Paul Ryan, okay, oh my God, no, I don't think Paul Ryan, no, I don't really don't think so, I think, okay. Let's, okay, let me try to think here. So what, what was the meeting? Okay, let's see what's, what the cards are gonna say. What was this meeting about? The meeting with Rosenstein and Paul Ryan. And then A, what are the consequences of this meeting? Okay, what's, what's gonna happen to, well, yeah, what are the consequences of this meeting? Okay. And, okay, and then we can have, what is, could be like, what about Nunes? Is Nunes involved? Now let's just ask, um, start simple and then pull out more cards because I don't want to get too broad initially. That's, yeah, so what did Rosenstein tell Paul Ryan at this meeting? Okay, what was this meeting about and what did Rosenstein tell Paul Ryan at this meeting? That's a good one, okay. What did Rosenstein tell Paul Ryan at this meeting? Okay, what did Rosenstein tell Paul Ryan at this meeting that just happened? What did Rosenstein tell Paul Ryan at this meeting that just happened? Okay. Tell him about this meeting. We need to know about this meeting. All right. Okay, all right, okay. So center, one, two. Okay, see the center. Oh, <laughs> here's the center. The center is Hierophant and a deal. So Hierophant is a card of Illuminati and people influential behind the scenes. And this is a deal, okay? Let's see what this deal is about. Key. <laughs> Okay, well, Paul Ryan has a. Okay, so, okay, so the interesting. Okay, so this is a num position number one. The star, what he told. Okay, so the question really was, what did Rosenstein tell Ryan at this meeting? So he has the solution. Has a key. The hope, hope is are here. Everybody's celebrating. They're happy. People dancing in the street. <laughs> Just kidding. The key to, this is a card, I think in this context, this is a card about leadership, or power. The key to power, he has the key to power through a deal. Okay, so they're talking about some sort of deal. Let's see what this is, okay? The key to leadership through a deal, okay? Now, he knows about secret money. So this is money, wrongfully gotten money. Okay, secretly. He knows about ill-gotten money and he knows of conversations about that are kind of against America, I think. Okay, this is conversations. Secret conversations, let, ju let me just show you here if I can. So this is the ending. So this is America upside down, conversations, okay. Secret conversations related to money, that ill-gotten gains, ill-gotten money, okay? The deal, 
Okay, I'm just I'm just because I gave you the flavor. So let's just one second here, like this. Uh, so deal, secret deal, conversations about the secret deal, power, and the key. So he has the key to power because through a deal. So either he knows of a deal and a deal about secret conversations, okay? So key powerful, key power, key to power through a deal, a deal about secrets, about secret conversations, okay? So, so that was the conversation, okay? Now, um, so in a way, but what I think this is, and maybe that's my projection or my interpretation of what I want it to be like, I feel like this is, it has to do with the transition of power. Okay. It has to do with them saying, we have the key. We know how the power structure is, how the power structure is arranged. And here's a deal. And we have this deal because we have the information about your secret dealings, about your financial secret dealings. So he has power because he's the, the beginning, the important interesting thing here is that the tarot is about the emotional things, right? So it's not necessarily about what happens, but how people involved feel. So here we have the star, which is a card of hope and happiness and be, uh, powerful people behind the scenes, okay? And here, so it's, I feel like Rosenstein is very happy because it feels like he has hope that things can be resolved behind the scenes. Okay, so I don't, I feel like if it had been, if it had been what we thought could be in negative terms, meaning giving newness all the bad information, then the cards would not be so good. Okay, I think the cards are very good and they make Rosenstein look good. So. I feel like next question is like, what does this conversation, what does this conversation have to do with Devin Nunes? Okay, let's see if there's, if the cards can say something. What does this conversation have to do with Devin Nunes? Okay. Okay, so so the first part was was that I'll just show you the Normans quickly, so to give an overview. So the snake, okay. So what does Devin Nunes have to do with this? So the snake, he's a snake. News about the snake. News about the snake expansion. Okay, that's expanding, probably trying to expand the investigation okay and the problems basically cutting putting sand into into the snake's attempt to expand his own bullshit okay and here's the child i think it's like he's either trying to start a new investigation or he's working for trump in some way so now and putting the terror underneath so you have a person leaving something behind so it's going to lead Nunes to back off, to leave something behind, like to turn his back on something because the problems or the clouds have to do with wrong works, okay? Like shady workings behind the scenes. And he's trying to, it makes sense, to avert an ending, okay? This is an ending. He tr he's trying to expand his own investigations and means to, to avoid his own ending. 
and the news about the snake, the news weakens the snake and the snake is trying to win in sneaky ways, okay? So that's how, what newness has to do with this, okay? I think just again here, just putting, see if I there, it can make sense. It's basically pretty much everything that we already know. I feel like what they got out of it is that they were able to stop newness from, from expanding his bullshit. He's going to leave it behind. Okay, he's going to walk away. Okay, here. Okay. Now the interesting thing, and and this is maybe part of, and I'm learning to also let it. When I get these images, I to let them show or let like, talk about them more. I feel like because the cards that I've said in the first part of this this section about the words and same meaning. I feel like he he straight tells Ryan, we know everything about the money. Okay, he tells him that. And that's part of the reason why Nunes backs away because he knows it's not a joke. Like he knows he's like playing this like theater propaganda, Russian propaganda game, but he knows. Okay, Ryan knows that there's a lot of shady, like a lot of real hard stuff coming for him. Okay, so. So, okay, so then I asked what happens to Dev and Nunes as a consequence of this meeting? Like, okay, um, so if the question above was like, what are the legal consequences to Nunes or something? Okay, yeah, now it's not that I don't remember the question, but it was like this, okay? So this is a card of, I've said this before, I've done research on cards that have to do with prison. This is the card about prison, okay, this one. And you have the card, the tower in the Lenormand, the Tyrant de Lenormand means it can be corporations, it can mean the government, it can mean the law, it could also mean prison. So I feel like here it's possible that there's an indictment, I'll show you here. There's a new movement, a new, because it's like the heart. So because of who he, at, at heart, he's compromised. I feel like that's what it's saying. And there's public celebration when, when a letter comes. <laughs> so I feel like he's going to be indicted. Okay, definitely. This is, I would think this is an indication of some sort of indictment it, because you have this public. This is a card of, it, I don't think this has to, I don't think this is like, oh, here's Devin Nunes celebrating public. Because even if, and God, you know, God willing, nothing good is going to happen to Devin Nunes. But even if, let's say, Trump continues his dictatorship or whatever, there's no way in hell that anybody's going to throw a party for Devin Nunes. Okay, no one's going to be like, oh, oh, great, look at the parade. Everybody is like waiting anxiously for Devin Nunes. Nobody's going to throw a party for Devin Nunes. So who's who's happy is the is like uh, this is in a way could almost be a protest because you see people gathered. I don't know if you can see it. There's people there holding their little ones or whatever. It's a, a, in a way, it is a public protest, it's, but it's a celebration in a way, right? Because in terror, you really have to look at the images much more freely than Lenormand. So you can see that it's a procession, okay? And it's funny, in Catholic countries, when I was little, my dad lived in this very small town in Brazil. Um, yes, pitchfork, well, yes and no, because so my dad lived in this very small town in Brazil. And it's one of those very historical towns that had a history. They, they were colonial towns with all these like Baroque architecture, very Catholic cities. So several times during the year, you had these processions where people wore like religious costumes and they wore like they carried little things. I don't think there were torches or candles. And then there was like related to like the Catholic calendar. This reminds me of that a little bit. Okay. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if it was a date, but it was like, it was like a, a city was, I don't remember exactly the dates because I'm not super, uh, I don't know exactly the details of Catholic church in a lot of depth, but something like that. Okay, so it was like, I feel like that's people out in the street celebrating. I think this is an indictment, okay? Because at heart, um, there's a, some something related to guilt here his, in the prison prison or, or legal problems, okay? That's what I think. I think that Noon is, is compromised. And I think the feeling that I get about this 
Um, yeah, uh, Diane is saying, I don't think it's quite, because Carnival is celebrated, it's more like somber, a little bit more somber than that. But anyway, so it's just basically what I'm saying is like kind of like a similar, it's like an image of people gathering in public and walking on the street. Because I don't think there's any tarot cards for protest or gathering. So there's a few, when you see these cards that have to do groups, that's an interesting, that's an interesting thing, I think. Okay, so, so anyway, so yeah, so I think this is saying, uh, just going back to overall to the story, is that Rosenstein was much more aggressive than he has been in this initial meeting with Ryan. He was saying, we know the money dealings. Okay, we have it, and we're going after you guys. And at the same time, he is able to convince Ryan that um, Devin Nunes has to curb, curb his thing, whatever he's, his bullshit thing he's doing. He's a snake. He knows that. And he's saying to him, we're going to go after you. We're going to go after this asshole. We're going to get you. Okay, I think that's what he said. Because why would why would Christopher Ray like I, I actually by the way I should do something about Christopher Ray but why would he even be want to be doing something like that or why would it's like these are the very top people they're saying look we're gonna go after you we're gonna crush you we're gonna destroy you okay and there's gonna be an indictment for Nunes okay so what about Ryan what about oh, I'm so so I'm so sorry. Oh, look, what about Ryan? I saw, because sometimes I had already like shuffled the cards, right? So I didn't reshuffle. I was like, what about Ryan? Let me just see. And I don't want to sometimes, I'm like, what if the cards, whatever. So then I'm, I haven't even pulled the tarot cards, but I'm just, let me just show you. Aggression, Russian aggression. Okay, what's this aggression? Russian aggression. Or Russia, Russia. Aggression for Russia leads to? An ending, coffin. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Ryan. Are you serious, Ryan? Oh my God. I'm so, so I'm devastated. I think I'm gonna have to cry now. So yeah, so yeah, things end badly for Ryan. Here's the coffin. Coffin for Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan died. Sorry, I shouldn't celebrate, but it's kind of like, yeah. Poor Ryan. No, he's just the greatest guy. My God. Oh my God. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, an agreement. See, he didn't say that he gave him what he wanted. They're like, no, we, we reached an agreement. What was the agreement? It's like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Yeah, that was the agreement. It's like, I'm going to go after you. Shut up. Like, what are you whining for? Okay. So, okay. So here's the Queen of Cups upside down. He's crying. Oh, look at this. Manipulator. Whiny person manipulator for Russia. Russian interests. What is there? Oh. How was it? Okay. This is oh, upside down. So. Yeah, so did not get what he want in the end. He dies. I'm sorry. I get so care. I'm. I sometimes I want to do a soundtrack like pop songs about all these things. I get so excited. Paul Ryan died. <laughs> like, Paul Ryan dead. Something like, I, I get excited about it. I'm like, Paul Ryan got indicted. Paul Ryan got indicted. Like, I don't know. I just want, like, I have to think about this more, but it's like, it'd be so excited. Like, imagine an album of songs about everything that happens to them. Like, su Max, Super Max, Prison. I don't know. I guess like that would be so fun if I like I could have these songs where I could sing when I'm cleaning or something, singing about what happens to Paul Ryan. Anyway, so Paul Ryan, I'm so I'm so sad. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I don't know what to do. I don't know to how to cope. I don't know how to cope. Anyway, so so okay, so that's that. I think we answer. We know the questions about this specific meeting. And like I said, Sunday, I'm going to do a marathon 
on the Republicans. So three o'clock and six o'clock, I'm doing marathon. I'm, I'm, I want to do 12 Republicans. I have to make a list because I honestly, I don't know about, and by the way, there's more. Wasn't there more? There was another question. What was the question? I feel like I wanted to, it was about this meeting and something else. What any, any other, like really anything related to these meetings and to this, anything more? The Mercers, are the Mercers now? I don't know. Should I do the Mercers now? Maybe, or is it too much? Oh my God, yes. <gasps> Can you see what they're, ma oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I love it, I love it. Can you see what they're blackmailing Lindsey Graham? Oh my God, I wanna know now, <laughs> I need to know, I need to know. Okay. Oh my God, Lindsey Graham, oh my God. What is up with Lindsey Graham? Oh my God, what's up with, he's like, President Trump was a joke. President Trump is destroying the Republican Party. They, I said this, I did this the other day, and now he's like, President Trump is the greatest man alive on earth. I love President Trump and the people of South Carolina. Whatever, like, I don't know, he's a horrible, horrible person. What is Corey? Yeah, because, he, oh, did you see? That's the other thing that came out about the book. That, Ho I don't, I'm sorry, but can I just say this? Hope Hicks, she's extremely beautiful. She was sleeping with Corey Leandowski. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl, I could do better than that. <laughs> Seriously, Corey, like who sleeps with Corey Lear? No, that's what the book said. Because the book apparently said that Trump was like telling her and Corey Dusky's like, Corey, she's the hottest piece of tail you'll ever have in your life. Like he told him or them or something. And it's like, I'm sorry, but she's so beautiful. Like she could do better than Corey Leandowski. Like so gross. Corey, like, it's like, she might as well be like on math or something. Like who, like, can you imagine sleeping with Corey Leandowski? Like what is wrong with you? You have a mental illness. Like Corey Leandowski could, oh my God, I can't, I can't. Oh my God, okay, let me concentrate. Okay, what's going on with, ew. <laughs> you see, Jen said, next to the threesome with, <laughs> threesome with Corey Leandowski and Stephen Miller. <laughs> I think still Stephen Miller is gay though. I believe he's gay. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So, okay. So, all right. So let's see here. What is going on with Lindsey Graham? What is the dark secret? Okay. This is a question. What is the dark secret? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't see. What is the dark secret that's happening now? Um, what's the dark secret that's keeping Lindsey Graham? Uh, what is Trump? Okay, this is the, the core question. What is Trump blackmailing Lindsey Graham with? What's what is the deal? What is the deal? What's what's Trump blackmailing Lindsey Graham with? Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. And then what's going to happen to? Lindsey Graham, okay, the, so cards right now, we need to know about Lindsey Graham and everything, what, what Trump's blackmailing him about, and then if he's gonna be indicted, okay, we need to know about that. I feel like everybody, yes, uh, anyway, yeah, I thought he's, oh my God, okay, so, okay, what is going on with Lindsey Graham? What is Trump blackmailing Lindsey Graham about, and is he going to go to jail? I mean, not jail, be indicted or whatever. It's going to happen to the Lindsey Graham. I know he, I, I was supposed to save him, but I'm like, I, I need to know. I need to know what's going on. With, what's the reason? Lindsey Graham, Lindsey Graham. Okay, Lindsey Graham. Okay. Okay. What's Trump? Okay. All right, now. Um, here, stay here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Fa some sort of family value. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Mm. Relationship. Secret a relationship in the government or some sort of secret relationship. And an email and messages. This is a card of messages 
and written communications. So I think it's messages, romantic messages about uh, on email, okay? Yes, yeah, uh, Diane said, phallic uh, symbol, yes, a tower, but a tower means isolation. It means probably government or like somebody, maybe he has a lover in the government, okay? Um, and it's like, or maybe it's in the government servers or something like that, okay? So it's a, it's, this is a card of messages and written messages. So there, it's a, so there's some sort of secret relationship that could put an ending to his family. He feels that this could kill his family. This is a card of happy family. He may have a family and that could end his family, okay? And this is a trickster, card of trickster, con artist, a dotard here. It could very well could be dotard. Oh, and this is a family disharmony, family in disarray. Could also be American disarray, and he gets the scythe at the end, which is bad for him. I feel bad for him because. Yeah, I feel like, you know what, he goes when Trump goes. Because when I first was doing these readings, sort of like the first ones, oh, yes, oh, my God, Sarah Palin, Rudy Giuliani. Oh, my God, let's not get, oh, should we talk about Giuliani right now? I can't. Anyway, so just one second, let me just finish this. Um, I feel like, yeah, I, I mean, anyway, so I just wanted to finish this thing about the site. So when I first... When I first did uh, these readings, when I was doing this, before I started doing the layouts, this came out so much that the, at the very end, the sides. So I feel like here, it's an ending to the, this harmony. It's like, basically, you know, it's possible. I don't wanna be like dramatic, but I feel like everything comes out in the end and he loses his family indeed, okay? Because his fear, let's let me just look at this, just do a review here quickly, a relationship probably in the government or with somebody he works with in the government. There are messages, there are written messages, okay? And these messages could put an ending to his family, okay? Bring an ending to his family, which is sad. I mean, it's like, who cares? I mean, it's not that I, who cares about monogamy, but you know, it's like some a relationship with relationships, but anyway, so an ending. So, okay, so, um, a letter in the gov through the government causes an ending. And the person, we have to remember too, that this is like the card of the trickster, but it's also could say that Dotard is acting like a trickster, like a, like a corn artist, which is what he is, okay? Oh, I think Ted Nudge, and I think he changed his mind. Something happened, like he found somebody or like he became less, less, um, whatever. So anyway, so this is like this harmony in the family. It also could mean this harmony in the country. So an ending. So here, if we look at all these cards together, if I can show you them to you, it's like letter related to the government causes an ending. Could also mean an indictment, right? Indictment, legal indictment causes an ending. An ending of the older man, Dotard here, leads to leads to a, a serious cut, okay? Could be that. And it's possible, you know what? Like I'm thinking, you know, it makes a lot of sense that someone said, I hope he comes out, he's gay. You know what? Why I think it could be that he could be gay? Because you know how these Republicans, when they have affairs, it's like, I apologize for my wife who's been there for me my whole life or whatever. Like, you know, I don't know how he, they talk, but they're always like, and the wife is like, I stand by you, you know, whatever, you know, they, they kind of come back together. But I feel like because the ending, it's like an ending to the family, I feel like it's bigger than just an affair. It's really serious, okay? I don't see it, there's no card, is it a man or? Yeah, I don't, let me try to see if there's any indication if it's a man here, what's the deal? Um, yeah, I don't. I don't get a sense if it's, it's a, there's no indication that it's a man necessarily, but it could be just because of the consequences that are being spoken of here are very serious. So you know how Republicans, it's like they're extremely hypocritical. 
I, I, by the way, I never understand that. They're very anti-gay, but I feel like the majority of gay people, politicians, they're all Republican, it seems like, right? Because it's like they always are caught in like pound and grinder or somewhere or like <coughs> photos come out of them with men. I mean, it's just totally fine. But why are they so, I don't, I really don't get it. Honestly, I don't understand why they have to be like that. So, so it makes sense. It's definitely a romantic thing. Okay, no, I don't think Peter Thiel would, oh, Thiel, so wants to do Peter, yeah. I don't think Peter Thiel would want him, but I don't know. But anyway, so Peter Thiel just got married, by the way, in Vienna. So anyway, so somebody, okay, should, guys, do you want to, should I do, because I'm doing the Republican, Republican, um, Thing on Sunday, but what about Giuliani? Because Giuliani is a whole, he's not actually in the government right now. So we should do Giuliani right now. What do you think? Should I do Giuliani? Are you okay with if I do Giuliani? Or is it too much now? I feel like I'm excited. I'm like, I need to know Giuliani. 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 Oh my God. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, it's like, it's so strange, right? The whole thing. I don't understand. Anyway, so, okay. So, Let's do what the hell is up with Rudy Giuliani, okay? I feel like I want to know what, I want to do the same thing I did with Bannon, okay? To get more of the story and then to pull out the things about the legal consequences. Because a lot of people are saying like he's done, really. Okay. So, okay, so let's, let me focus on... Yeah, Mitt Romney, I'm not yet because I think he's not yet this directly. Um, okay, let's see here, Rudy Giuliani. What's going on with Rudy Giuliani and the Mueller investigation? He's involved. It's up to him because you know the other thing, guys, I had done this reading a while back on this Turkish guy, Riza Zarab, I think his name is, okay? And yesterday or something, or two days ago, it came out that the lawsuit that he was initially involved in came to an end and they charged the other guy. Okay. So the, the, and this guy is Rob knows a lot about Giuliani because Giuliani was involved in like high level Turkish stuff. And he was working with, I don't know, something like that. So, so anyway, so there's more dirt coming regarding Giuliani. So let's see what's going to, what's the deal with Giuliani and the Mueller investigation and all this stuff, and what's going to happen to him legally, okay? Rudy Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani. All right. Okay, what's going to happen with Julie? What's happening, Rudy Giuliani? Rudy Giuliani, Ju Giuliani, Ju Giuliani, Giuliani is corrupt. Rudy Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani is going to jail. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, Rudy, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani is going to jail, yeah. Rudy, Rudy is going to jail. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, your time has come. Okay, so, okay, here now, Rudy Giuliani, what is that? Was he going to jail? I need, we need to know cards, okay? We need to know Rudy Giuliani. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, Rudy, Rudy, your indictment, Rudy, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, Rudy, Rudy, your indictment. Okay, all right, let's see here. Okay. All right, so there's the center, let's look at the center. Mm -hmm. The feed in snake. And uh, wrongful winning of the election. Okay, he's a snake related. He has something to do with the election. I don't know exactly what. It shows a defeat. Okay, here is a snake. He's a snake. He's a double agent. And he has to do something to do with the wrongful winning of the election okay that's the center let's see here first mm, yeah uh. mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. So at the very beginning, you have this is the plan. So this is a plan to turn the world upside down. Okay. And Russia. So this is a number one card. So he's involved in the plans to turn the whole thing upside down. There's a lot of money here. So he's some sort of he has some sort of connection to money or money ways or something. And and the, it's, this could be Trump because it could be the child related to tr to Russia. Okay. And there's and right next to this you have the tower. Things come crashing down and the fox. So he is he's a treacherous person because the fox has to do with basically treachery. Sometimes the fox means a nine to five job, but in this case, it means treachery, somebody that can be trusted. Bad news, this is also, this is a card of emails, okay, communication. So something negative related to emails, it, it could make sense what somebody said about his, like treachery related to communications that are unclear. His treachery is yet to be seen. He's involved in this somehow, okay? And so here's a defeat, and this is how, then we have the part about the defeat and the snake. So he has been engaged in treachery related to the foreign powers as a double agent. So I feel like he is definitely getting it both ways. He's a double agent, okay, and somehow involved in the wrongful wins of the election. So it's possible that it's like somebody said, it's true that he could have been involved in the whole faux scandal. Like he's, he's working for them because the snake is a bad card for, for this sort of question. And you have the snake and the fox together. So he does stuff behind the scenes and he puts on a facade. Okay. That goes a certain way. And in a way, remember how the whole thing, when Comey was fired, he went on a TV show. I remember this really well. He won it when he went on a TV show and talked about how how um okay and he talked about how Trump was like had told him oh he was like oh yeah he was like he called me and he was like hey Giuliani um why don't you tell him I mean can you just change oh this was the thing about the Muslim ban he's like oh Giuliani why don't you change this so that uh you know, we can make it subtle legal. And I was like, yeah, sure, President, sure, Trump, whatever. He said, I remember he saying that. So, so it's funny because at the beginning he was in a good position and then he went sort of like, he went in a down low. And I'm thinking to myself, Trump could have never got revenge on him. It's almost like something was protecting him. Like he was protected. Because you know how it is, like Trump never attacks anybody who the Russians like, right? If you have a good, if you're protected by by Putin, like he's never gonna attack you ever. Because obviously he, like that's the people he he's afraid of. So now let's go back here. So, so after this we have beginning of ex execution of plans and secret. Okay, so secret, this is coming next. Or more context about this. So it's a secret that leads to an ending, okay? So this, he knows something that's gonna lead to an ending. And I don't think this is a one, this could be, maybe he he gets his, red, his head back in the right place. It's almost, or maybe he changes his mind that he decides to collaborate. We're gonna look more into whether he collaborates or not, okay? But next is really that he knows secrets that could bring an ending. I don't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily show that it's him, but it shows that, okay, here's something that's gonna interesting thing related to Trump, but you have secret twice because right here you have the high priestess card and the high priestess card is a card of things that we don't know yet. It's, I always, I love this card in the sense that it's, whenever it shows things that you don't, it's like there's stuff you don't know yet. Okay, it does not, this doesn't necessarily mean it's a secret, but it means that there's stuff that is gonna come into the picture that we don't know yet about Dotard. I think this is not Julian, I think this is Dotard. So secrets about Dotard are gonna come into the picture and financial secrets, okay? Okay. And 
this could lead to time. So because this card is interesting, right? The anchor. The anchor means that it could mean could mean that it's a job, like you have a job as an anchor or something. It also means time. And in the context of prisons and law and, and all those legal things, I think it could mean time. So it leads to time for dotard and a, a long-term ending for dotard. Okay, and secrets are revealed about dotard. So Giuliani, what I'm getting here is that he's talking. Okay, now let's, I haven't done yet the part about his legal consequences for him, but just the gist I'm getting about this is that he's involved in all of this, but that I think he ends up talking because you see here, um, oh, and I think he's gonna be a witness, interesting, okay? Um, okay. Yeah, and he gets, I think he's, he's a, he gets a deal. But one, let me pull out more cards just to finish the story. Um, I don't know, actually, don't forget the deal because it got the justice upside down. So, so that's not good for him. But yeah. So okay. So this first row is what does Mueller see in him? What does he want from him? What like what? How does he frame him? Okay, so this is a, the wrong leader. This is a card of the fire sign upside down. So everything related to fire sign in the negative way, basically an extremely angry person, a person who is vengeful and aggressive, okay? And so hardship secrets. Okay, so let me just put all these cards together. This is a card of entanglement in prison, like I said before and corruption so he's it's like this is a card of a long time so it's it's showing that Mueller knows knows that he's been corrupt for a really long time and that he's been manipulative and because of that this is ironic because of that he's going to be key and in a way what I feel like he's he's going to do to him is that he's going to make him a witness because the key is it has come up before as a witness, okay, this person is a witness to the prosecution, okay? And it's obviously Giuliani is a lawyer and so forth. Now, this is the card of how does how does Mueller approach him or how how does he defend himself in front of Mueller if he can defend himself? So this is money, okay? So he could say, I'll do this for money. This is, gentlemen, it could be Giuliani here, okay? And this is a person who has a he has a hard time making a decision. He doesn't know what to do. He wants to create a better situation for himself to pursue positive change to create a better opportunity. But you have justice over time. Now, justice over time is very bad if the question is legal, okay, and it's painful, okay. So. I feel like this confirms what I saw up here that I think he wants to, Giuliani ultimately wants to get into a better situation. So he has to fight. He has to fight the legal consequences that happened to him. Okay. So I feel like just as, just as Mueller and um, the legal system found that guy Zira Azar, I forgot, Zira, or I don't remember his name, but the Turkish guy, okay, they got him. I feel like they may do the same thing to Giuliani. They'll be like, okay, we know that you've been doing this for years. We have the proof of your guilt. So if you want to escape free, you're going to have to do this, this, and that, okay? So I don't know. I don't know if it does happen. And I'm wondering, does this mean that he could fly? This also called a flight. Does this mean that he could, because you know how he's supposedly he's been in Ukraine for a long time? But I don't know that, I don't know. It's not clear to me that he can be there for a long time. I feel like could be, could he flee? I don't know. Anyway, so let me show you also here at the, the end. It's like, what's the final story about Giuliani, all right? So this is a person who's powerful behind the scenes part of power, power behind the scenes, but he has the wrong values, right? He's kind of apathetic or has the wrong values. 
and he accepted a gift. Basically, this is uh, obvious corruption, right? You accept a gift for power and you become, you sell your loyalty. This is a card of loyalty. And he sold his loyalty to the emperor upside down, which is Trump, right? The person who was misuse of power. So I feel like his legacy becomes corruption. He becomes known as a person who sold himself and his influence for for money and on behalf of the wrongful um, the wrongful person. Um, I don't know. I don't know that he's going to go to jail necessarily. I just feel like the law is has turned or will turn against him. And he's going to be put in a very tough position and he'll be forced to testify definitely, okay? Because, yeah, because he got the, he got the key card here, okay? And yeah, and if I, if I'll even look at this column, he is the key, what was a, yeah. He is the key here, the key. Aggression, aggression or fight against the, the justice overturn, right? The justice, he's the key to the government winning the case against the emperor upside down, okay? So as a loyalist to this whole thing, he's a key witness to the government that ends up creating serious problems to Trump, okay? Now, it's interesting, um, Jen said, singing like a canary um, card. I almost, I feel like he's actually, it's not the, the cards here that have come up before for people who talk are not here because usually the people who talk with those other cards, they get the deal card. They had diff, have different cards, but not in this case. In this case, it's more like what happened to that guy, Zira something, Zarab. It's like, they're like, have a knife to your to your neck. And they're like, you don't have a choice. Were you gonna do just what exactly what you we want you we want you to do, okay? Because they have a lot more power than he has, okay. And uh, Lucien, it's like timeline. I think it's complicated. I feel like I feel like the okay. Let me just look at this again. And then the coffin. Next, I think right next. To, Right, because right now we have this snake. Okay, let me just look here. Um, the coffin, the time. Okay. Yeah, I don't think. Okay, why do you like messed it up here? I feel like next, because right next you have the coffin for, for the Giuliani thing. So the next development is going to be this thing is going to come out not now not right now but pretty soon because it's it's saying that he has a secret that's going to create an ending to trump and there's more that's going to come out of trump and he's involved in this somehow okay so so um so that's that okay um so yeah i feel like it's pretty soon that i think what happens is that okay if i close my eyes and i think okay how long, when is this thing gonna come out of Giuliani? And it's telling me three, three weeks. Giuliani has been, it's like, okay guys, I, I'm gonna close my eyes, okay? I have to close my eyes because I have to talk at the same time. Uh, so I feel like Giuliani has been talking to them for a while. He's telling the whole story, everything he knows. He thinks he's ahead of the game, but Mueller is gonna get him more for more, okay? so. It's gonna come, I feel like the whole Giuliani thing is gonna come out in probably in three weeks the most. But when it comes out, it's gonna be, it's gonna hit pretty hard, okay? And people are gonna be pretty shocked because people, I feel like people, not that people trust you, but Giuliani is a public figure that he has a, he's been around for a long time. So once the whole thing comes out from Giuliani or with Giuliani, then people are like, whoa, this is like serious shit. Like it's mafia level stuff, okay? So, so that's that. That's the thing about Giuliani, and he's very—he knows his, he's in serious trouble, and yeah. And I feel like that's that. I think the whole thing with the trial—I feel like eight months. Okay, something about tells me eight months because there's going to be trials. 
Yeah, I remember he was 9 11. Yeah, so I remember, I feel like there's going to be trials that the deal that he's going to have with Mueller means that he's going to be, they own him basically, okay? And so he has to participate in future trials that have to do with a lot of different people. Sort of like think about a mafia trial. Like it's not, it's a bunch of people that are, uh, you know, and, and obviously Mueller has a lot of experience with mafia trials. So it's like one person gets a lot of people and it's just not, it's like, he's not getting off the hook. Okay, Giuliani, definitely not. Um, so, so that's what I feel like. I think it's like, there's a whole, it's so massive now that I think about it because I'm, the way I'm looking at it is like, he, he's talking definitely. And he's trying to salvage his reputation, Giuliani through this and that's why he's he has to be extremely extremely honest and he's saying everything he knows but it's like because the knife was up to his neck okay not because and like someone asked like oh what are the cards you know does he cut a deal no it's like it's not the same it's like it's like the level of like um you know when these guys are not nice when they like the fbi is not like when they don't want to be nice to you they like almost kill you you know what i mean not in a bad way like kind of like they really crush you. They push the legal system against you. And you really don't have much of a choice, okay? Especially if you've done such wrong things. And I feel like they're saying to him, you know, you, um, you, um, you think you can get away with this. No, it's like, they're like, we, you know, we, we put up with you um, for so long and now, we know everything. We've been recording you for a long time. We have all the tapes. We have everything. It's like they really are like crushing him, you know, like a, like a, you know, the pressure. Like I forgot what, you know, those tools or whatever um, that crushed somebody. So, so yeah, so that's the story. Okay. So that's the story. I think like I got pretty good sense of Giuliani. Okay. All right. So I feel like I got a good sense of him. Yeah. He, he knows a lot. And he's going to be responsible for some things coming out about Trump. Okay, there's a lot that he knows and the secrets that he knows are going to help bring down Trump, but he's also going down in some way or other. Um, so that's that. So I'm trying to think. So I think that's it, guys, for tonight. We, we covered Steve Bannon and the meeting with Nunes and Rosenstein, not Nunes, Rosenstein and, and Ryan. It looks like Ryan and Nunes are going to jail. Uh, whatever, indictment and stuff. And then we looked at Giuliani. All right. Okay. Oh my God. It's very exciting. I feel, guys, I feel like I, I know some people, you know, complain or whatever, like that I should do the, the other style of cards. But I really, I realize like I love the interaction. I really do. Because the, I feel like we can like play off, right? Like with each other and like get the excitement and get, find out right? The find out the stuff. No, no, there's people who are like, um, can you do the cards the way you were doing before? Which, you know, I understand, but it's not the same. I feel like the, you know, the reason why this is interesting right now, it's because I could do it live. Like, and if you, and I understand it helps you see the cards when I, when I do them all like on the screen, but I can't do them live. And I feel like, Right, and I feel like yeah, I can like be more spontaneous and more entertaining. I think in a way, not that I'm like making ha ha ha, making you laugh, but you know, it's just kind of like more. It's just more impromptu and more fun. Okay, all right. So this was great, guys. So so um, Sunday um, Sunday, I'm gonna go on a Republican marathon. I have to make a list of these people that I barely know anything about. I have to research them, like Darrell Issa and. Uh, Dara Rook Bakker and Jim Jordan. I never heard of these people. Okay, so I have, I mean, I have heard of them once or twice, but I have to do more of a research on and, and Chuck Grassley and Orrin Hatch and all these people. Like, I'm like, okay, I have to make a list of 12 Republicans that are in the, currently in the government. So, all right. Okay, guys. So this was great. Okay. Have a great evening. Yeah, gross Grassley. All right. So have a great evening and um, I'll see you soon, okay? Bye. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. bye. Mm -hmm.